Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mags, so I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. So England are through to the quarterfinals as we take on France on Saturday coming. It'll be 7 o'clock kickoff here in the UK, 10 o'clock kickoff out at the World Cup in Qatar. And this will be the first time that England have played France in a World Cup since 1982. Of course, winning that game back in 1982, 3-1 against France. Previous to that World Cup game, of course, was our game in 66 against them in the World Cup, where England, of course, came away from that game 2-0 winners. Our most recent game, though, however, against France, was back in 2017 on the 13th of June uh, when, of course, we took on France uh, in a friendly. Uh, we came away from that game on the end of a 3-2 defeat. Harry Kane scoring both goals in the game. Uh, of course, Bertrand uh, assisting on the first goal for Harry Kane, then Harry Kane scoring from the penalty spot. It also seen goals uh, from France for Samuel Umtiti, uh, Sadibi, and, of course, we've seen Raphael Varane getting sent off as well for tripping. Uh, and then, of course, we've seen Kylian Mbappe on the 78th minute of that game uh, assisting Osama Dembele uh, for, to see France win the game 3-2. Hopefully, on Saturday, that uh, isn't what we see happen. Hopefully, you know, we we'll see England come away with the win and we'll move through into the semi-final, which... If we can get through uh, to the semi-final, then we're going to have a tough game ahead. Uh, as, of course, if we make it past France, uh, then we do have a game either against Morocco or Spain or Portugal or Switzerland. So, it's going to be a tough game either way uh, if we can make it past France. Because, you know, we'd either be going up against... Uh, Morocco or Spain if it was Spain then you know that's going to be a tough game because of the way Spain's been playing in this tournament so far uh, if it turned out that it was uh, Portugal or Switzerland again it's going to be a tough game if it was Portugal because it's Cristiano Ronaldo you know they've got a really good set of players it would be fitting in a way if it was Portugal versus England uh, for you know the history between the two uh, nations especially for that instant well back uh, where you know Ronaldo winked uh, that would be a great time you know for England to get some revenge for that situation obviously it would be kind of fitting in a way uh, as well you know for that match in the fact that <clears throat> you know there's quite a few Manchester United players in the England setup uh, so you know Cristiano Ronaldo would be well and truly up for uh, that game to you know beat his fellow uh, Manchester United players or former Manchester United players if you will now because he's a free agent and no longer with uh, the club but looking away from that we we'll have to get past France first before we can be looking at a game against either Morocco, Spain, Portugal or Switzerland in the semi-finals if we can then you know get that result, make it past France and we do get the look of the draw and we get an easier draw in the semi-final then of course in the final it would be either Netherlands, Argentina, Croatia or Brazil whoever makes it through there uh, into the semi-final and through that into the final so it's going to be an interesting final either way whoever makes it there it would be nice if England could be one of the teams that makes it to the final. Uh, of course, you know, after we're making the final in the Euros, gone, you know, uh, and losing out to Italy in the fashion that we did as well. It would be nice to see England lift the World Cup, but we we'll have to do the unthinkable, which is getting past France, getting past Kylian Mbappe, uh, you know, and getting past the defending champions of the World Cup as well. If we can keep Mbappe quiet, I think we'll have every chance of making it past France. But then you've also got to look out for, like I said in the previous video, uh, you know, when I was talking about the game against Senegal, we've then got to look out for 
Olivier Grion as well because he is now France's all-time goal scorer uh, after, of course, that last match against Poland where he bettered uh, Thierry Henry's record and now, you know, Olivier Grion is the all-time goal scorer of France. So if we take our eyes off Grion to watch Mbappé, then Grion could punish with. If we take our eyes off Mbappé to focus on Grion, then Mbappé could punish with. So we're going to have to play it careful here. We're going to have to also try and play a bit more attractive football in this game. We're going to have to try and use our brains here, uh, use the tactics to our advantage, use what we know uh, we can do to our advantage as well. And we need to play the likes of Kieran Trippier to open up them passing lanes because that is what we've been lacking in the last two matches uh, against Wales and against Senegal. We were lacking that creativity uh, from Kieran Trippier. Once you take Trippier out the side, there's not really anybody there that has any creative uh, ability to pass the ball, open passing lanes. And that is what we were missing in the last two games. Uh, that we've played against Wales and against Senegal. Yes, we won both of them games, but we were lacking the creativity in the game, and that is what was making the game feel so bogged down, so boring to watch, because we were lacking that creativity. So Southgate's got to go with Kieran Trippier in this game. Uh, I get it, you know, uh, Kyle Walker's got speed, but the speed can only take you so far. Uh, you know, you need the creativity as well to be able to help get them balls into the area. And if you have a, like, a player like Kieran Trippier whipping them balls in, you know, Harry Kane's scored his first goal of the World Cup now. And if we can see Kieran Trippier whipping them balls in like he has been doing, you know, maybe we can see Harry Kane get on the end of it and score uh, in the game. But talking about Harry Kane as well, he just played full 90 minutes in that game against Senegal, so... I don't know how fit Harry Kane is going to be uh, going into this game against France. That was a, one of the things that I brought up in the previous video when I was talking about the game against Senegal, of course, uh, was the fact that, you know, Southgate should have used his brains. He should have took Harry Kane off once we went uh, ahead in the game and we were well ahead in the game, uh, you know, and it was pretty much won. Uh, we were 3-0 up. He should have brought Harry Kane off. Uh, and allowed Callum Wilson to play for the remainder of that game. That was, of course, in my eyes, you know, it would have been perfect to allow Harry Kane to rest his legs a bit for this game. This is going to be a tough game. You know, don't uh, think otherwise. Uh, this is definitely going to be a tough game. It's England versus France. These are the defending champions for a reason. They won the World Cup for a reason. You know, these are going to be the team that we'll have to beat if we want to win the World Cup. Um, so, you know, and then if we do get past these, there's tough teams all the way to the final. And even in the final, you know, could still be the likes of Brazil in the final, which that in itself, you know, they are absolutely immense. The serial winners, Brazil, they know how to win uh, World Cups, they know how to win international tournaments. So if it was Brazil in the final, that would be just as tough as this game against France is going to be. Uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. In my eyes, to win this game, we need to bring Kieran Trippier into the team again. Uh, he needs to be able to uh, play that creative style like he does at Newcastle. Uh, we need to have, you know, a focus on watching Kylian Mbappe, but we also need to focus on watching Olivia Grion as well and try and, you know, keep it composed. If we can keep them two players out of the game, I think we've got every chance of coming away with something in this game. If needs be, it might have to go to the dreaded, uh, you know what, you know, we're not seeing it on this channel, but it might have to. And if it does, you know, hopefully this time around, unlike the game against Italy in uh, the Euros, you know, hopefully we can come away with the win. Uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Southgate's got a hell of a task ahead of him here uh, for this game against France. It's a big ask to get past France in the quarterfinals. We knew that this would be the possibility as well that we would have to play France uh, at some point in this tournament. Uh, but we need to get past France if we're going to be thinking about 
uh, anything else with the World Cup. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe to 100% Mags. And a big thank you as well for getting uh, the channel to 1.5k subscribers. Uh, absolutely appreciate it. Uh, you know, nothing's taken for granted on this channel. And let's push on to 2k subscribers. Uh, and hopefully... As well, England will continue on in the World Cup if we can make it past France. Till next time, I'll see you all there and come on, England!